Let's now turn our attention to a special landmark. On April the 23rd, it was exactly 50 years since a landmark Keshavanand Bharti judgment was delivered by the largest bench ever at the Supreme Court. It was a narrow victory, very narrow, just 7-6. And even that final vote was split a little bit. In a nutshell, Keshavanand Bharti was the head of a math in Kerala. In 1970, he got involved in a tussle with the state government over the acquisition of his Mats land. Subsequently, Parliament put the Kerala land law beyond judicial review. It said the courts cannot review this particular matter. Party challenged the constitutional changes by Parliament in the Supreme Court and he argued that his fundamental rights were being violated. The largest bench in the Supreme Court's history then heard the case for more than five months. And 50 years ago, on the 24th of April, 1973, the Supreme Court delivered its judgment, saying that the Constitution's basic structure cannot be amended. In essence, this verdict said that features like democracy, secularism, the rule of law, fundamental rights, cannot be changed by a parliament. Parliament, no matter what the majority in parliament is, Parliament cannot come up and say, we are amending this, we are doing away with all of this. The court also said that the power of judicial review is also part of the basic structure. Now, the outcome of that verdict 50 years ago has been massive. Many believe that this judgment has been the shield of Indian democracy ever since. The shield that seems to guarantee that Indians will live and will continue to live in a country where their rights, their freedoms, the basic structure of their democracy cannot be taken away, cannot be taken away by anybody. Let's be clear, democracy matters to Indians. Indians are more happy with democracy than people in many so-called developed countries. Just take a look at this study by Pew Research Center. Out of 34 countries, India ranked second when it came to satisfaction with democracy. 70% of the respondents said they were content with democracy. India was far ahead of the United Kingdom, where the satisfaction rate was only 31%, or the USA, where it was 39%. France and Japan didn't fare much better, with only 40% being satisfied with democracy there. India even left behind countries like Australia or Germany or Canada. But, and I want to underline this, Democracy is not simply the right to vote, the election of a state government or a central government. Hey, remember, even Hitler was actually voted to power. So being voted to power is not all that being democratic actually means. What's important for democracy is a system where the rights of the individuals are protected. The state, any state, often has a tendency to be despotic. But for real democracy and freedom to prevail, Institutional safeguards are important. The right to liberty, the right to free speech, the right to equality, the right to approach the judiciary. This is the hallmark. This is the basic structure of democracy. And this has been guaranteed for Indians by that Keshavan and Bharti judgment 50 years ago this week. So it's an important milestone. It is a milestone that we should be celebrating. Without this judgment, it's possible that the emergency could have taken a different path in 1975 to 77. Without this judgment, it is possible that a government in the future could be emboldened to just do away with fundamental rights. So this particular judgment is the guardian angel, the shield of Indian democracy. And by the way, before we analyze this any further, if you think that, well, what's all of this talk about democracy, does it really matter? I can tell you it's one of the most important aspects of the India story. And if you don't believe me, just listen to what some of the global leaders have been saying in the recent past. India and the United States, the largest democracies in the world. You have returned as leader of the world's biggest democracy. A large democracy like India. A large democracy like India thinks it's important that there's a rules-based order in the world. Rules-based order. India and Canada are united not only by their common ambition to create more opportunities for people to get ahead, but a shared, but by a shared set of values. Values like respect for the democratic tradition, 